Welcome back to Let's Play the Beginner's Guide, Burning Dog fans. We're here reading notes left by Coda in the guise of, uh, regular users. Pressing A doesn't do anything here. It doesn't, like, give me the illusion of typing my own, uh, what? Oh, when I jammed on the keyboard, I pressed some of the, uh, WADS buttons. <laughs> Art. Art! What does it mean? Does anything mean anything here? Well, that's not very nice. Wait. Alright, I just ate the connection there, fair enough. If that's true, I wonder if I would have noticed a person if I hadn't been, you know, let's playing. Devil Tower Star. Sounds like an anime from the 80s. Yeah. That guy again. Well, I say that guy, but we know. I certainly don't like that. We are many, for we are one. Right, Coda? I wonder if the secret is that not everything has to make sense. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. Hmm. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. I'm going to be really annoyed if I go over the footage after this and there isn't any uh, whispering in it. It would be nice to reach out to strangers, wouldn't it? Make a connection to some kind with the world around you. Three dots. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. This isn't like lava or anything, it's just orange walls. Because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture.
Just one note. I thought it would be zero. Typewriters. Huh. I was actually expecting an infinite number of monkeys, I'm not gonna lie, but this does continue the theme of isolation. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Oh. It's a nice place, but... It's very clearly a prison. Even though these are set up like blinds, not bars. See, like, this is it, the whole game, and there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something Can't else. Okay, climb the ladder. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Furniture ought to go into the center of the room. Uh, a refrigerator. That's not a refrigerator. Let's put up a huge picture of a horse. Okay, that... Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Jazz punk was fucking great. So, okay, he oh. throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Nope. Oh, all right. able to escape from any prison afterwards? Is that what it said? shelves. Three dots. Um... I hope I can remember those things in order. Of course, 
Now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, What's the door? Eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Listen to the crickets. It's strangely soothing, isn't it? But that season's just ended. Hmm. In case there are any children in the audience, this is a phone booth. That's what people had before everyone carried portable phones. Can't move. Can't even look around. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. scared, then what I need is hope. Oh no! What is going on here? That was the B option for the record. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah, it would. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? The production values have suddenly shot through the ceiling, I've noticed. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Wasn't a lit up house in the door the other time. The 
fuck? Oopsie! Spilled glow drink. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Oh. Oh, look at that. I've done it. That's nice. And it's a table I'd like to see. To go into the bedroom and make the bed, certainly. It was over here. Thank you, door. Oh, it's just a blanket. I thought it was something weird from outside. Like an inflatable alligator. Sure. Oh dear, they're all over here. Yes, much better. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. I like that. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Stupid, sorry. Never mind. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down the best you can? No need to be perfect, we're all just human. I kind of want to hug the cleaning guy. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf? Uh... Yeah, okay. I got here ahead of time. I can barely make out any actual titles here. I don't think this is full of, like, you know, pop culture references or whatever. Perfect! And how about you come and clear these dishes up? After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. I know what that's like. Do these chores ever end? Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So don't be done with the ta don't be with the task at hand to leave the future chores to future you. Present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. I know that Coda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. So the tub has gotten rather dirty. Do you mind tidying it up a bit? You gotta stay on top of that. Earlier when I said I had a really cheesy thought, <clears throat> I was going to say it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it and it takes care of you. I don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? Anyway. So. Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. I'm watching you, cub. Is 
things. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Driving straight in the weapon, can't he just focus him home to a messy couch? Question. Do you but enjoy this? Of course, it can't last. Oh. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I wonder if there was more text to that. Or if it was like a... You can get, you get through as much of the conversation as you can in a set amount of time. I kind of hate that. But okay. Yeah, this definitely feels like getting over something. Getting through something. Thank you, cleaning friend. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. But... Items you love well, at members only prices! Noted. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Totally alone. Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. Now I'm over here. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you f think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well-developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself, compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I'm not pressing anything. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly? This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts. Being perfect is effortless. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Why is Soul Calibur happening back there? I still love you, it's just you make me feel cold on the inside. Being alone must be awful. Well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Drinking is not hurting my life. If you are torturing yourself, trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. These are interesting non-responses. I don't think I can give those. Don't understand you won't be happy until, lo until you love me? This is for you. Ew, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. Ah, uh, just kidding. You don't want to do some ecstasy after this? There is no truth, there is no path. Do what is easiest, do what is simplest, feel what is true. What if I'm not a good teacher? Holy shit, you guys, something is coming out of the back of the room, look out! Nothing. No one. It's coming for you, it's going to destroy you! Everyone, run! RUN! I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. Um... To uh, assume that some other person is perfect oh. and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Oh. Well, the timer did go a while back, so I'm going to call it I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play the Beginner's Guide. Some heavy topics coming up. I feel a lot of them reflecting on myself. I don't know about you guys, but... Ooh, this game's got its hooks in me. See you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!